We've now moved over to the finishing straight, which is the lovely large area. Lots of cars heading up towards the bank in there, as we can see. And at the bottom of the straight, we've got several rows, in fact, here of Morgans. And as we walk along, we actually see one of the first ones we come to is a Brooklyn Special Edition. Uh, these were produced in limited numbers and when someone bought one of these cars they actually got a free membership to the Brooklyn's members. So we gained a few members that way. Okay, I'm amongst all these lovely Morgans now and we're going to talk to uh, someone who can tell us a bit about it and it's Mike Wilson here. Hi Mike. Hi yeah. Hello, can you tell us a bit about your cars that are here today in the club? Yes, uh, Morgan Sports Car Club. Uh, we've got 63 cars here today, and so we're very pleased with the turnout, and thank you for providing the sunshine. Yes, it keeps popping in and out today, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> but we were afraid we had wind, very high winds locally yesterday, and I'm glad that didn't turn up today. Right, yeah. Have you come far then to get here today? Well, I'm local. I'm, I live in Hawley, so it's oh, about right. 20 miles away. Yeah. But some of these guys have come from all over the country. Mm. Half of the members here are from, from the Kent and Surrey centre of our club. Right. The rest have come some so distances. So this is cars from the Morgan Sports Car Club? Yes. We have different regions yes. around the country? Yes, we have centres all, all around the country. And right. uh, The local centre here is called Hot Mog. Uh, it covers Kent and Surrey and it relates to the, uh, the hot fields. Right. Of, the, of the olden Kent. days. Yeah. Yes, Kent and Surrey. I didn't yeah, realise until Surrey recently too, they had yeah. the hot fields in Surrey. Right, so hot mog. And what other centres have we got here? Well, you've got folk oh, mog. Oh, um, yeah, so this is, that's Folkestone, got, presumably. Is it? No, no, no that's uh, east, Eastern Counties. Eastern Counties, yes. We've what got else? Thames Valley. Right. Um, south Coast, London. Oh, so there's, there's a whole Just range quite a, of a good yes. selection of. Yes. Sort of southern regions, I guess. Yes, well, some the of them have come yeah. down from the Midlands, so it's, yeah. it's quite a lot. So th this is kind of your day, really, the British Marks Day now. Um, we did have a separate Morgan Day a few years ago. Yes, we very much uh, regret the loss of that. Yeah. Actually, we used to have yeah. a very good turnout. Well, we'd get twice as many cars on yeah. the Morgan's Day. That was the first Sunday in, in uh, November that was every right, year. That was the end of the year. Oh. Yeah. Because we used to have a separate MG day as well. Yes. Um, oh, you suffered the same fate. Yeah, yes. it's all being combined into yes. this one glorious uh, look at British marks, really. Well, you've, you've managed to fit this all in. Oh. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, yeah, I think you're probably, along with the MGs, the biggest club here. Yes, yes. Probably the two are pretty similar, yes. I think. Well, MG is a huge club. Yeah. And but an excellent turnout, and you've got your own car here today yes, as well, haven't you? Yes, this is my you? one here. This is the so this is your plus you're four. standing by it, mm. and this is a Morgan Plus Four. What does that mean? Well, originally it meant it had uh, four cylinders and four wheels because right. Morgan started by making three-wheeler okay. cars. So to, to, to distinguish between the three, they called it a four-four. Yeah. So it's got a Ford uh, two-liter Duratec engine in it. Okay. And the power-to-weight ratio is. is quite good <laughs> amazing i just think it must be a very light car yes um so what year is your car uh this is the centenary model this is 2009 because right the first morgan uh so it's rolled 100 off. years of morgan was yes. 2009 so that's right. you're looking 1909 for the first that's right, ones yes. uh, and they would have been the three-wheeler yes that was the three-wheeler yeah one of one of our members chris booth he actually uh from photographs because there's no original drawings for the, from the first one he's actually made a replica of the first oh, the ever first Morgan, oh, right. and he, okay. he's got a museum down in Rolverton, Kent, yeah. and he's got it on display there. Oops, something fell over. <laughs> okay, so yeah, he's he's got that on display now. He's finished it, and it's yes. yes. Is, does it run? Does he drive? Oh, it? absolutely. Yes. Yeah? Yes. That's great. And you've had yours since two thousand and nine. Yes, this was yeah. new new from the factory two thousand and nine. I had a a four four before that for six right. years. And so what's the difference between a plus four and a four four? Well, originally, uh, the plus four was a 1500 or 1600 engine. The four four, I should say. Yeah. And the plus four was a two litre. So it was the But then they size. upgraded the uh, four fours to an 1800 engine. So there was right. only 200 cc difference so between anyway. the four four and the plus four. Yeah. 
And I've been on many trips in this, I would imagine. Oh, yes, yeah. yeah. We, we like to get abroad as well for the Le Mans Classic. Right. And uh, the guys are going over to Montreuil. Uh, not Montreuil, um, one of the other events coming up shortly. Uh, the Leon one, ferry. is it the Leon one? No. Is that one not coming up? No. Montlary. Oh, the Montlary one, yeah. yep, yep. Yeah, it's, it's nice driving these sort of cars out on those longish trips, isn't it? They love us in France. Yeah. Mm. They always come out in big numbers yeah. and, and wait to us. They, yeah. they, they see it as a real treat. And I just love driving on the roads in France because... Yeah. I don't know how their taxation system works, but they seem to have money to spend repairing their roads. <laughs> yeah, Even in quiet little country was. lanes, you, you've got I know, good quality asphalt. Dark, isn't it? yeah. Yeah. It's great. So when you buy this, do you specify different things? On everything. That you can, it, Absolutely everything. So it's yes. to your spec. Yeah, everyone is bespoke. There won't so we'll be have two, a look on the inside there. There won't be two that leave the factory that look exactly yeah. the same. There's no such thing as a stock car. No. So you've got a lovely traditional interior there with yes, the leather upholstery, leather upholstery, and a walnut and a dash. Walnut dash it certainly does look nice in there and quite comfortable for long trips, I would think. It is. These these sports mm. seats are very comfortable. They do grip you. I mean, I don't drive at a huge speed, so I, no, I don't get too many sideways uh, forces, but uh, they so, do hold me firm. Yeah. So, what do you do for luggage? Where does that go? It used to be a challenge when I, my wife was still, was around, but, but I, I've got a rear carrier that goes on the back. We used right. to put the so suitcase on, on there. there. But you have to lose the wheel? No, no, it just it sits on top. I've got, I've got the fixing brackets here. All right, yeah, I've got it. And you can see, I've just removed it. All oh, right, and that, that sits on top that of the wheel. On tip and it onto goes there. On there. And then you put the suitcase on top of it. Ah, I've got it, right. Because uh, there's nothing under here, is there? There's no. Well, it's just space. a petrol tank just under the there. Tank, yes. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So you can't take a, your golf clubs or anything. <laughs> um, well, I could because I could put them in the footwell. <laughs> uh, well, if you haven't got a passenger, that's true. Yeah, you could. Be well, a you bit might. of a squeeze, if you've otherwise. Got a short set, you might just conceivably get it on the back there, across, mm. across the back. There's space. Great. You obviously enjoy your car. You enjoy the club as well. Yeah, it's, it's a, it's a, it's just a complete joy to drive. Um, yeah around the Surrey Hills and abroad. And you're enjoying yourself at Brooklands today? Yeah, well, I'm a Brooklands member and uh, I just love coming here. Yeah. Well, it's nice if you're quite local, you can just sort of pop in, really. It's not well, too much of a Well, 20 journey, miles is about 40 minutes, so it's, yeah, no, it's no problem for me at all. Not too bad, is it? Right. Great. Well, thanks, Mike, for telling us about the clubs and your car itself. Oh, it's a pleasure. Thank okay. you. Thanks Thank for you. inviting us. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, we're all the way up the top of the finishing straight now by the banking and we have a, a row of lovely scimitars don't see too many of these about these days and uh, we've got mick here 
who is part of the Mess Club, I believe it's called. That's correct. It's the Mess. It stands for Middlebridge Enthusiast Scimitar Set. Um, the Middlebridge in particular, uh, they only made uh, 78 cars. Uh, they bought the rights from Reliant, and these cars were all hand-built to order and specification. Hence, you'll see that they've all got different interiors, different paint jobs, and things like that. And yours in particular, I think, is quite distinct. It is quite distinct on the colour. Other than the colour, it's a um, it's a standard car. Right. It, um, started life as Cadbury's Purple because it was okay. bought by the MD of Cadbury's. Really? As simple as that. Wow. Um, you, you've changed it to I, this I found it, nice gold I, I found it hard to live with the Cadbury's Purple. The purple. Um, so it was painted in 2000 by my son in this colour here, which is Titan okay. Gold. So what you see there is a paint 22 years old. Right. So explain to me a bit more about Middlebridge. I mean, it's, right. it's a scimitar. It's, it's a scimitar. Middlebridge was a group of companies that also had F1 and F3000 cars, right. done a lot of racing, and they wanted to get into car manufacture. So the easiest way in was to buy the, Reli- the rights from the Reliant uh, factory which was then defunct right. um, with a view to going into producing aluminium bodied sports cars further down the road uh, with high class or high end Japanese running gear okay. unfortunately they got into a legal battle with Bentley right. over Bentley number one a very famous car and Middlebridge got stung for 10 million which finished them oh my goodness but they did make some cars but they made 78 cars 78 yes. of these and we've got one, two, three, four, five, six. Well, there were seven here. One, six, was, two, one's just gone because we've come. <laughs> I've come from Northampton. He's from Lincoln. Right. So we've come from fair well, distances. Good old distance to come yeah, today to Brooklyn. It's for a day, Brooklands, it's for a day it? run at Brooklyn. It's yeah. a fair old. It's it a fair old run. Fair old stretch. So um, shouldn't have too much trouble in these. It's, days. it's not where they cruise. You know, the the cruise when I go abroad, I take mine to Malaga, and I mean, it, right, hundred mile an hour is just over three thousand revs. Yeah. So yeah. happy days on the motorway. Absolutely. You know, not that you're uh, doing that sort of speed. No, course, no, no. no. I no. sixty nine mile an hour all the way. Yeah, yeah. Pro- provi- exactly. Provisionally. You Provisionally. Yeah. yeah. Um, so, what is the engine? How what size? The have engine got here? is um, the very late Ford two point nine Ford Scorpio engine. Okay. And um, it was Ford's flagship baby, and Middlebridge had to take their cars or a certain couple of the cars to Dagenham to go through the Ford system to ensure that their flagship engine wasn't at the side of the road overheating and things like that. So these, after all of that, have become extremely reliable cars. We've got cars with 300,000 miles. This car's, what, 30-something, 30-odd years old. The heads have never been off this car yet. Right. Well, not um, going, is it? No, it's, it's not. And, uh, um, what is it? Is it a V6? It's a V6, it's a V6. Yeah, 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 all fuel-injected and um okay. so there's no you know points no carburetor to mess with nothing like that right. it's a lazy man's classic car not bad is it though? not bad yeah. what sort of horsepower do you get from that uh, about there's about 165 165 on it which is plenty isn't it really yeah it is I yeah mm. yeah and remember it's uh, all fiberglass yeah and, so pretty uh, light so it? it's yeah not the heaviest you car don't in the world too much corrosion problem either no and it's galvanized yeah. chassis as well is so, it right so, so that's pretty good as you're well. happy days from the welding yeah, point of view yeah um, it should last a lifetime, shouldn't it? Well, yeah, I'm hoping. <laughs> um, so, um, right, you know. should we just move along and have a look at the interior there? Yeah, the interior here, um, as I said, they're all bespoke. Right. And this is. Uh, okay, so the, the first buyer of this would specify would spec, what they wanted would spec in here. This up and I've kept the spec identical to the original. This is what it was. This is really? what it was, yes. Yeah. So it's like a two tone grey with walnut right. and uh, wool carpets. It does look nice, doesn't it? It looks nice, but the... you, you can clearly see that I've just got the mats screwed yeah. up and that. But yeah. I didn't intend to be <laughs> showing be it. Be on show today. No, 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 otherwise I'd have tried a bit more. It's nice, but... nice, nice wooden dash yes. and a nice wooden steering wheel as well. It's, it's a, a nice area with to a be in. With a scimitar name on the yes. front there, Middlebridge Scimitar Limited. And we've got a little bit of embroidery on the back of the seats there. Which kind of set it off quite nicely, really, doesn't it? And the, the leather dash on the top. Yes. That's great, isn't it? Um, automatic gearbox. This is, yeah, four-speed automatic gearbox. It's a four-speed auto, yep. is it? Right. 
It looks good, and you've got a bit of space in the back to put your luggage. Yeah, there's a bit of space well. in the back to the luggage. The seats fold forward to increase the space. Right. As well. Okay. Um, well, we've got a few signatures along here. Yeah, what are all those then? Um, well, <laughs> people that made the car, people that owned Middlebridge, and if you look closely, without dropping names, the name Anne there is Princess Anne, who owns Middlebridge Number Five oh, up still. There. Yeah. Right. Oh, does she? Yes. Ah. So, um, I didn't realize I knew she had a scimitar, but I didn't yeah, realize it, it was, was one of these. It was the that she got caught on the Alsbury Boy, yeah, pass, doing the old speeding, doing quite, yeah, yeah. So, um, okay. yeah, she's part of our club, we'd like right. to say. And uh, she pop such, along to events then? We've had events at Gatcom, have you? We actually go to her, for yeah, events, rather than her, come to you. rather than her yeah. come because, oh, um, I think Princess Anne, to be honest with you, just helicopters everywhere nowadays, yeah, that's it, isn't it? Do, so, can we open the you up can. there, or is it a bit tricky no it's not tricky the only thing that's tricky is the fact it's locked you haven't got the key yeah <laughs> well i was wandering off to get some tweets so oh right well, i'm going to be doing that in a minute there you go oh there we go that's if it that helps that's nice it avoids the reflections for our cameraman yeah. trying to get those signatures on Sorry the back it's not bad luggage-wise, is it? You can get no, 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 it's, it's good enough. suitcases in there quite oh, easily, we, can't you? Yeah, we get it loaded uh, up quite well. And, we were just uh, looking at the Morgans down there. No luggage space whatsoever. Uh, no, I you know. know you have to put a rack on the back and strap yeah. something on the back of that. Well, me and Mommy says we load it all up and you head down from Alligar. So, yeah, uh, so you it, get so quite a happy distance, days. in it? Yeah, yeah. yeah, well, we get a 600 mile plus in on a tank. Right, OK. It. So it's got, I it's think it's a 21-gallon tank. Not as though you want to be filling it. You've got a tow day. bar on it. You've got a tow bar. Is it towed ever? Yes, it has. has? Yeah, I've towed caravans. I tow my. Uh, I even tow my transporter trailer. <laughs> right. Yes. Okay. Um, no, no, it's definitely. It has a life and it works for its living as yeah. well as it looks pretty at times. Yeah. 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 So not quite an everyday car, but. No, no, not an you everyday car. You do use it pretty I use regularly. It, I use it for the weekends when the weather's all right and more so through the summer. Yeah. And uh, and that's only because, uh, to be honest with you, I have a company car, so it's right. easier to thrash it's it about. To do that, isn't it? Exactly. Yeah. I keep this for best, really. Yes, exactly. Yeah. And um, and it's... and I enjoy driving it, and I don't want it just bashed up in Sainsbury's car no, park no, and things quite, like that. So right um, okay. yeah, lovely. Well, thank but, you very much no, for showing us around your car. It's, and, it's a beautiful uh, thing. I look forward to seeing it somewhere. Great, lovely. Thank you. Thank you. Then.